with my boy. So today starts episode two. I am at Lotte World. It's like Walmart equivalent, Target equivalent. Anyway, we're gonna get up in there because I need to turn the camera this way. We're gonna get up in there because I'm looking for very particular things. I'm looking for co coffee cups for my coffee maker. And yeah, that's our today. So I'm gonna just let's just go. Okay, so I just got my rice cooker and my air fryer. Bruh, I feel Gordon Ramsay, you're done. Bobby Flay, you're done. Rachel Ray, you're over. I'm so excited right now, I can't believe it. Still looking for my coffee K-Cups though, so let's go look for that. Just gonna head to my apartment. Bam, rice cooker, air fryer. Oh, these meals that I'm gonna cook are gonna be, I spent about 6,000 on the taxi, 6,000 won on the taxi to Latte Mart, and then 5,000 back, so not too bad at all. And this was all kind of like 90 something bucks, so like, I'm in downtown, obviously, at a KFC. <laughs> I came down here to meet up one of my friends, one of my internet friends that I've known for a long time. But wow, I've never been to this part of downtown. So let's go look around. super important when you come and teach in Korea or just if you're coming to Korea to live as a foreigner, period. Alien registration card, ARC, I just applied for it, super easy. I had all my things, so it was a very smooth process. And my co-teacher, shout out to him, went and took the bus. And I had been really scared of taking the bus. You can ask anybody. A lot of my friends have been using it. I just was skeptical of it, but I took it today. Super easy system, super clean. Very convenient. I will be using the bus more often. I still love the cow taxi though. But yeah, I'm just walking home right now. I got off at a really good stop. Probably gonna stop and I'm gonna look at some restaurants. I'm gonna start going to some restaurants. And whoa, look at this florist shop. I get a little easily distracted sometimes, but. I decided to take a fine leaf break from cooking every night and get myself a nice meal. I decided to do a photo booth by myself just to celebrate today, I don't know, why not? taking a little night walk to the mart near my house. I need to get myself some groceries, just water, eggs. Tonight's gonna be my first night using my air cook. Successful shopping trip. You know, I pretty much just got stuff in my mid tonight.
So it's been about a month as of yesterday, the 17th, that I've been living here. Living here in, as Tommy calls it, SK in South Korea. And homesickness totally smacked the crap out of me really, really, really bad. And it's a lot that I miss about home. It's a lot that I like here, but it is definitely a lot that I miss home. However, I'm gonna go celebrate my month here by taking myself to go get a waffle and coffee. I'm going to edit <laughs> one of my videos and I'm gonna write for a little bit and then I have to go buy some coffee creamer and things like that. So, happy one month to me. But, yeah. Happy Monday. I am having a waffle for breakfast that I got from Waffle University and I got some coffee too. So yeah, it's gonna be a really, really good Monday. It is September 19th. Look at my name sticker. Hello, hello, live from my planning desk. So yeah, this is where I plan all my stuff out. I have things separated between third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. I kind of set what I have ready. So this is the game that I have for tomorrow. Fourth graders, I already put my fifth grade game. I'm actually making a third grade writing game. So my desk, it's not organized. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's organized for me. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll do a more in-depth look at it in this area later. But I just wanna show you guys. Okay, so I'm low-key obsessed with the unmanned ice cream places. I just got myself this really nice birthday cake, sort of like ice cream sandwich just to celebrate today because I can. Because I can. You can't see what I'm taking my tongue out. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, I believe, September something, I don't know, September something. Anyway, I just wanna show you all my birthday. <laughs> I have something to tell you guys as well. I have an egg today. I finally didn't burn an egg. Some cereal. I got my water bottle right here. Don't ask what I'm eating on the floor. Sometimes I like to just sit right by my door and like eat and watch catfish, but whatever. So tell me why that coffee machine that I was super excited about yesterday. I'm still super grateful for it, but my literal, my literal worst nightmare came true. I tried to plug it in through the adapter because don't forget, this is a coffee machine that I brought from America to Korea. Best idea? Don't know. But anyway, I was trying to plug it into the adapter and it would not work. And I'm just like, dang, I was really hurt, man. Like I was kind of disappointed and I was telling my mom about it. And like, I did so much. I went through getting the cake up through G Market and all this kind of stuff. And just for the coffee machine not to work, it really sucks. By the way, I'm wearing my glasses today. It just sucks. I'm like, dang, my coffee machine won't work. I think it has something to do with the voltage and the voltage of the machine through the adapter, through the Korean, extension cord socket so i'm gonna try to figure it out i think from what i've been seeing the consensus on google is that either a it won't work here it'll work in america obviously or i have to get like a basically like 2000 watt power converter but the thing is literally yesterday i had plugged that machine in the coffee machine through the adapter into the socket the extension cord with all the korean cords and literally like i saw like a boom like a spark and like i heard like a popping noise so I'm like, I hope I didn't short circuit it. I don't think I did because I feel like I saw the spark come from my rice cooker because I've had all my appliances plugged into the same thing. The thing is, my rice cooker wasn't plugged in. Regardless, I was really bummed. So I'm glad for my mom because she was like, you know, telling me that we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. So hopefully we do figure it out. If not, at least I'll have a good coffee machine when I move back home. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. So I'm going to figure it out, hopefully in this vlog. Happy hump day for me and these waffles that I, pancakes, that I made last night. I made them early so that way I can make them today and just cut them up, throw syrup, bam. Mm -mm -mm. And I didn't burn them these times because the first ones I burned. Hey guys, so big news. I just got my ARC today, my alien registration card. Basically you need it for like everything in this country because I am an alien, alien superstar. Whip, whip. <laughs> yeah so i'm super excited because now i'm headed to a gym about 15 minutes from my house and my co-teacher 
love that woman so much sort of like my second mom in korea she's helped me do basically everything whoa look at these cool birds me when i get sidetracked with everything they're like blue bird looking things i don't know but they're cool kind of chunky remind me of the birds from shrek but anyway i'm headed to the gym right now I'm about to see i'm gonna tour this gym first it's a newer gym and i'm gonna see if i get this membership i miss the gym so much i want to be back so bad i haven't been in a whole month i just feel like my body has gotten like a little bit smaller but i'm not too beefed up big time who knows maybe i'll start getting back on my protein shake type stuff anyway i'll keep you updated okay so it's my first day in the gym i literally love how i get my membership and then i'm already here i'm literally on the ab machine right now as we speak and they're playing k-pop mm, love that come on eyes more no, because I could literally jump for joy right now. I feel so good. That's my first gym workout since I quit the YMCA like a month before I moved here just to save some extra money. But that was amazing. I can't wait to get myself really on schedule and just get really getting in the gym and things like that. So I'm very excited with how that went. I'm taking my walk home now. I think today I'm like the final person to leave my school just because I wanted to get some planning done. Wow, the sky is so beautiful. I wanted to get some planning done because I have some things to take care of tomorrow. So I won't be able to get my normal planning done for my classes for Monday and Tuesday. So I literally pre-planned for Monday and Tuesday. So yeah, I'm chilling. And I think honestly, what I might do is like toward the end of the week, just start planning for the next week, just so that way when the next week rolls around, I could just get into things much smoother. Crazy to think like, oh, come on, my hair growing or whatever. Crazy to think like about a, maybe like a month ago, because in a couple of days it would have been a month that I've been working. What am I supposed to do with these classes and da 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 da? But it, it, uh, it comes pretty easily now. So I'm excited for that. I'm about to, dang, I forgot to go to the bathroom because I'm about to stop by the waffle place, get me a waffle. I was supposed to get one with my friend, Annalise, but she hurt her ankle but that's okay she'll get she'll heal from this and we'll get our waffle together but right now i don't get my own waffle because i deserve it yeah just keeping you guys updated i woke up today and pressed the slay button yeah yeah so today i finally came out to dejan sky road there's a lot going on this sky looks gorgeous when you come this way this is the place that we came to see so let's go look around First time riding the subway. Was that your first time or no? No. <laughs> oh, my first time riding the subway. Yay! I'm grocery shopping and I don't know why it's like hilarious to me almost that it's a normal thing for me now to do. Because I promise you at the beginning of this year, I was not doing things like this. I mean, <laughs> right now all I have is cereal and some seasoning because I ran out of my garlic seasoning and I just picked up some uh, sesame seeds but also i'm gonna get some chicken and some other meats because you know, i've been cooking just started going back to the gym again you know well, i'm working it's hungry oh i found some chili pepper chili pepper flakes that's what i've been looking for anyway i just want to show you all that i'm shopping i feel so real big boy you know real like you know 
Okay, so updating you all. Today is the 26th. It's been a full month since I've been in Korea teaching, that is. Today I'm trying Mom's Touch. It is, you know, some American food. Come on. You know, I'll just try to make things. So this is 10 chicken nuggets. And I have my fries. And this is my pre-gym meal. I normally would have a protein shake back home, but I don't have a blender yet. And when I get it, things are going to be real different. But anyway, I just wanted to eat something real fast. And actually, I heard you all the camera. That's probably too good. They're really hot when I got them. I'm ready. I don't like this anymore. That was really bad. Really good. They almost have like this dill flavor to them. Like almost spicy. Definitely like that Asian flavor. Wow, these are actually way better than that. I tried the fries too, people. These fries remind me of checkers. Let's go. Oh yeah. Especially when you see my face more often, this is definitely good. Let me tell you, I decided to kind of throw down in the kitchen tonight. <laughs> and by throw down, I mean I took my noodles that I had and I had some chicken that I had marinated the other day, threw in some asparagus, threw in some sweet and sour sauce, mix that thing together. And yeah, come on, you know what the one thing about me? I'm gonna eat good. I became a chef in about 30 days. Bon appetit. Much good to say, y'all. Hi, everyone. It's Teacher Davian. Boom. Look at my planner that I just made. I just got this from Dyson on Sunday, and I've been writing in it just because I like to stay organized. Here's my normal planner, and then here's my school planner. The way I have a work training this week, but yeah, just wanted to say hi and show you guys the view from my office. I just got some of the teachers. Well, I got all of the teachers. <laughs> Little like choco pie. Well, it's kind of just like a thank you gift since I've been here for about a month now, but I'll show you guys what I did. I wrote a message in Korean and everything. Look at that. I'm definitely gonna eat one of these because I like a charcoal pie. September 28th, 4.36 p.m. I just got done playing volleyball for the first time ever at my school. And we have like a little dinner thing, kind of like food after. And I got this really good fried chicken. But yeah, I had fun. And I never played volleyball in my life, but I sure acted like I played today. I love when I come to my gym and they're playing Pikachu or Rebellion. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was like meant to be here or something like that. Yeah. I started getting into this habit of just planning my classes early and I just got that desk agenda so like I like plan everything and stuff like that so obviously I'm not getting paid to stay over the time that I'm allotted however I don't care I like to be prepared I've always like to be prepared writing in an, writing in an agenda is very important to me so that's what I've been doing but I realized that I recorded the last 19 days essentially I vlogged it all for you all so Please, I hope that you do enjoy this daily invitation. Episode two. I've grown so much in this past in this past month alone. I've fostered a lot of really good relationships. I have spoken to my family essentially every day, especially through our WhatsApp group chat and whatnot. I have grown to 
love the area that I'm in. I will love it so much. I love my I love my little suburb. I can't wait to explore some more. I'll be hopefully going to Seoul soon. Of course, I'm gonna vlog all of that for you all. And let me know if you all want some videos in the future. My apartment vlog is coming, I promise. I'm actually waiting on this very particular rug that I want. I have had quite a bit of issues ordering things online, actually. Other than that, I just, it's so funny because during the weekends, I'll go out with my friends and whatnot, and we'll have fun and everything like that. And it's just so, getting used to this life has been quite fun, honestly. It's a bit challenging, but I like the challenge. And I have been able to rise up to the challenge, so I can definitely say that with tomorrow being the first day of October, yeah, I feel I feel pretty good. I feel really good for completing my first month, which also on the 26th it was 20, the 26th of September was an entire month that I've been a full fully realized teacher, which was so interesting because it's so weird. I'm only 22. Love this place. And I ordered a coffee all by myself. And I ordered hers too. Hey.